Hello! In this video, we're going to look at passing pointers as parameters to functions. Previously, we claimed that we could pass a pointer to a variable as a parameter to a function. That allows the function to change the variable's value. We'll look at this code in Eclipse and see how we can do that. If you're enrolled in the course, you can check out the pointers intro project from Subversion. You may have done that previously for an earlier video. If you aren't enrolled in the course, you can download the zip file. I've reopened the pointers intro project in Eclipse and gone to the main.c file and scrolled down to the bottom to look at the main function. I'm going to go ahead and comment out line 43, which was a call to simple pointers, and uncomment the call to test down and up in line 44. Now I'll scroll up to line 32 and let's walk through test down and up together. So lines 33 and 34 declare and initialize a couple of integers called up and down. And then in lines 35 and 6, we print out the value of those variables. Then in line 37, we call the function down and up, passing up and down as parameters. And then in lines 38 and 39, we print out those values. So let's take a look at the down and up function and see what it's trying to do. So if we scroll up a little bit, we see the function down and up takes two parameters, take me higher and put me down. And then in lines 27 and 28, it tries to increment take me higher and decrement put me down. So if this code works like it looks like it's supposed to, lines 35 and 6 will print out the values 5 and 10. And then we'll try to increment up and decrement down. And so we'd hope the lines 38 and 39 will print out 6 and 9. Let's go ahead and save that, Control S, and then Control F11 to run it and see what happens. So it runs. But we see that afterwards, the values are still 5 and 10. Well, let's draw a box and pointer diagram and see if we can figure out what's going on. Let's walk through this code, beginning with the test down and up function. So first, we create a variable up and initialize it with the value 5. Then we create a variable down and initialize it with the value 10. Now the next interesting thing we do is call the down and up function passing the values of up and down. And so this value of up gets replaced with the number 5 and down gets replaced with the number 10. And so the actual arguments we pass are 5 and 10. And so when we get to the down and up function, take me higher, and I'll abbreviate, gets the value 5 and put me down gets the value 10. Now we execute the code in the body of this, and take me higher gets incremented. So we change that to a 6. And put me down gets decremented. So that turns to a 9. But notice that the original values of up and down aren't changed. So when down and up completes, take me higher and put me down go away. And when we come back to test down and up, we're left with the original values of up and down, and so our last line prints out that up is still 5 and down is 10. So we saw that the problem was that we're changing the copies of these values stored in take me higher and put me down instead of changing the original values stored in the variables up and down. So what we need to do is instead of passing the values, we need to pass pointers to the values. So let's change this code to fix that problem. So up in line 26, I'm going to change my parameter declarations. Instead of take me higher being an int, I'm going to make it a pointer to an int. So it'll have the type int star, a pointer to an int. And the same thing for put me down. So now I'm passing pointers to take me higher and put me down. And I have to change lines 27 and 28 to dereference those pointers. So in 27, I want to find the thing pointed to by take me higher and increment that. And in line 28, I want the thing pointed to by put me down, and I'll decrement that. So we'll save that. Now we have to fix our call. So if I try to run and uh, compile and run this code without fixing the call, I'll hit Control F11. And I get a warning on line 37, ah, and I get the dialog box that says it crashed. Let me cancel that. And if I hover over my warning icon here, it says that the problem is that I'm making a pointer from an integer without a cast. And we've seen that problem before. And what it says is that we're passing an int where a pointer is expected. So I've got 
up is a variable here, but my function wants a pointer to the variable, and so I'm going to add an ampersand here, so I pass the address of up and the address of down. So let's save that, and I'll go ahead and hit Control F11 to run it. And now we get what it, we would have uh, wanted to begin with. We pass the address of up and down, up gets incremented, and down gets decremented. Let's go ahead and look at a box and pointer diagram to see that that's working as we expect. Starting in test down and up again, again, we create the variables up and down and initialize them. Then in our call to down and up, we actually pass the addresses of up and down. So what happens when down and up executes is take me higher is created, but it's initialized with a pointer to up. And put me down is also created, but it's initialized with a pointer to down. So in the body of down and up, we dereference the pointer take me higher. So we get the thing pointed to by take me higher, and we increment that. And then in the next line, we get the thing pointed to by put me down, and we decrement that. And so we're actually changing the values of up and down back in the original function. So now when down and up completes, these two pointers go away, but the effects of those changes are seen in the original code. And so when we come back to test down and up and print out the information, up is now 6 and down is now 9. Summing up, there are three basic things to remember about using pointers in C. The first is that we declare a pointer by adding an asterisk to the type of the parameter. So in this example, the parameter a to the foo function is declared to be a pointer to something of type int. The next thing is that we use asterisk also to dereference pointers. So in the second line here, we're dereferencing the pointer a. So that says the thing pointed to by a should get the value 7. And in the third line, in the printf, we're printing the thing pointed to by a. Finally, the third piece of syntax is that we use ampersand to get the address of a variable. So in the second to last line here, we're passing the address of the variable b to the foo function. One thing to note is that some people will put the star on a parameter declaration next to the variable. Instead of int star space a, as we've written, they might write int space star a. We'll try to consistently use the version with the star on the type name, but you should be aware of this other syntax in case you read it. Until next time, I'm Kurt. Catch you later.